started back in 1976 was the original movement and it was a search in this committee for uh, economic development opportunities to uh, support a community which was losing population because there was a downturn in the major agricultural industry that was a dairy industry. We had 19 stalls on the first, very first one back in 1977, it was November and uh, it was so successful we ran again and uh, by the time we'd run the third market it was really starting to grow quite quickly. My name's Jody Hartley, I'm Executive Officer at the Moravid Advancement Association and our main function and role is coordinating the Moravid country market. Come market morning there's a hive of activity, uh, you may have two, three hundred stall holders um, setting up uh, and you'll have 80 or 90 volunteers all doing their thing to help get the mar market happening during the day. Well as the market got going the, the, uh, the, the, there came opportunities to supply uh, prepared food mostly and so there's a number of groups uh, started to satisfy that demand and uh, that had, uh, that had uh, terrific growth opportunities and so it's, it's really been growing ever since and now we've got, we've got three major prepared food outlets. We started the stall here uh, at the uh, market here when uh, oh, I was about three or four year old for the Marbot Recreation Reserve. We were building a new complex over there and uh, it helped, we, we had to get money somewhere to raise money and uh, it's been a fantastic uh, thing for, for the whole community. Being able to have the market and um, have all our community groups involved and benefit financially from it, it's meaning that they're being able to do things that a lot of small communities can't do. We have the football club give us a hand on some Saturdays, tennis club other Saturdays of the year, netball club and the cricket club. Now they all give us a hand on our stall here. Stallholders tell us that we're unique, it's the atmosphere that we have here at Murrabit, uh, generally relaxed. We often um, say that we're under the towering gum trees, which is a sort of icon in itself in Australia. Very friendly, Murrabit always been a very friendly area and we're... the pe people that run it do a very good job here too, excellent. They run a very good market. We've um, become friendly with a lot of the stallholders too, um, you know, I got to know them because they might buy something from us, we might buy something from them. We get lots of reports and feedback from our stall holders and others. It's not uncommon for us to hear that it's, it's one of the best markets around. We're really fortunate to have a lot of permanent stall holders. They come every month, they're dedicated and we thank them for that. They, uh, many travel from Melbourne, they do the, the three hour trip from Melbourne every month and um, they bring that diversity too. We have uh, free live entertainment, free entry. Um, people can come for a drive tomorrow but, and meet up with people and socialise. You know, it's a great opportunity for the, to catch up with people. We have people come from all over the state, not just locals to our market. Um, we often, um, we've even dedicated an area for bus parking um, so we can have coaches come in and ad um, adequately provide for them. A lot of people do the market scene, you know, and why wouldn't you come tomorrow, but you know, we can offer you 300 stalls and such a wonderful atmosphere.